Louisiana Beer Reviews, Black Art, German Beer, Schwartz Beer, 4.9% alcohol. Ingredients, water, barley, malt, hop, hop extract, and yeast, I suppose. Don't know when this beer came out, just know it's produced in Chemnitz, Germany by Bra Stoltz Brewery. I had it once before last year and I thought it was awful. I gave it an F, but I, my presumption was that the bottle was spoiled, it was old. Okay, so it gets a B minus on Beer Advocate, but there's only 10 reviews on Beer Advocate, and there's no reviews for this on Rate Beer, so it's a very rare and obscure beer. If you look at the company's website, the uh, Bross Stoltz website, uh, they do have a pretty good array of beers, however. Anyway, go ahead and get started with this black beer. Eleven point two ounce bottle, so that's a rip off. Do see some smoke though. Okay. Thin beige head. A cloudy, I would say cloudy, um, red appearance. Now, when I was looking on Baton Rouge beer scene website, uh, the head was really thick. So, and I poured it aggressively, and it's thin. But what little what little head they have is kind of hanging around. So it's a dark black color, kind of reddish brown under light with a little bit of light we have out here. All right, some kind of little funny piece of chunk of residue or something there. Let's go with the smell test. I hope it doesn't smell horrible like it did last year. It's similar to last year, but you have that overripe vegetable, uh, overripe fruit aroma like say apricots that have been out too long. Some sweetness and some malt, so it's not a bad aroma, really. Let's go with the taste test. Get that dark roasted barley malt flavor. A little bit of coffee, dark roasted coffee. dark fruits, maybe a little bit of hot bitterness, but not a lot. The body is on the lighter side, light to medium. The finish is pretty dry. You feel like a really dark roasted beer, then you'd like this. Uh, it's not high alcohol. It's uh, it's not heavy, but it is kind of ragged or rough as far as the uh, the overall presentation. It's certainly not bland in any way. The smell is not terrific. Um, I would have to say that the Shiner Black Lager or the Dixie Black and Voodoo or the uh, Samuel Adams Black Lager are better than this. You get a 12 ounce bottle instead of the 11.2 ounce bottle. I mean, this is okay. I'll go ahead and give it a C plus. It does have some character. I just don't think it's that good. It's not a pleasurable or really a pleasant taste. It's not a horrible taste though. It's not even a bad taste. It's just sort of so-so. 
I mean, I guess it's worth trying if you like these kind of beers. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Louisiana and go to an LSU football game.